In cryptography, the Elgamal encryption system is an asymmetric key encryption algorithm for public key cryptography which is based on the Diffie-Hellman key exchange. It was described by Taher Elgamal in 1985. Elgamal encryption is used in the free new privacy guard software, recent versions of PGP, and other crypto systems. The DSA is a variant of the Elgamil signature scheme, which should not be confused with Elgamil encryption. Elgamil encryption can be defined over any cyclic group. Its security depends upon the difficulty of a certain problem in related to computing discrete logarithms. The algorithm, Elgamil encryption consists of three components the key generator, the encryption algorithm, and the decryption algorithm. Key generation The key generator works as follows. Alice generates an efficient description of a cyclic group of order with generator. See below for a discussion on the required properties of this group. Alice chooses and randomly from. Alice computes. Alice publishes, along with the description of, as her public key. Alice retains as her private key, which must be kept secret. Encryption The encryption algorithm works as follows. To encrypt her message to Alice under her public key, Bob chooses a random from, then calculates. Bob calculates the shared secret. Bob maps his secret message onto an element if, Bob calculates. Bob sends the ciphertext to Alice. Note that one can easily find if one knows. Therefore, a new is generated for e every message to improve security. For this reason, is also called an ephemeral key. Decryption The decryption algorithm works as follows. To decrypt a ciphertext with her private key, Alice calculates the shared secret and then computes which she then converts back into the plaintext message. Where is the inverse of in the group? The decryption algorithm produces the intended message, since practical use the Elgamal crypto system is usually used in a hybrid crypto system. This is because asymmetric crypto systems like Elgamal are usually slower than symmetric ones for the same level of security. So it is faster to encrypt the symmetric key with Elgamal and the message with a symmetric cipher. Security The security of the Elgamal scheme depends on the properties of the underlying group as well as any padding scheme used on the messages. If the computational Diffie-Hellman assumption holds in the underlying cyclic group, then the encryption function is one way. If the decisional Diffie-Hellman assumption holds in, then Elgamal achieves semantic security. Semantic security is not implied by the computational Diffie-Hellman assumption alone. See decisional Diffie-Hellman assumption for a discussion of groups where the assumption is believed to hold. Elgamal encryption is unconditionally malleable, and therefore is not secure under chosen ciphertext attack. For example, given an encryption of some message, one can easily construct a valid encryption of the message. To achieve chosen ciphertext security, the scheme must be further modified, or an appropriate padding scheme must be used. Depending on the modification, the DDH assumption may or may not be necessary. Other schemes related to Elgamil which achieve security against chosen ciphertext attacks have also been proposed. The kramer shope crypto system is secure under chosen ciphertext attack assuming DDH holds for. Its proof does not use the random oracle model. Another proposed scheme is DHAES, whose proof requires an assumption that is weaker than the DDH assumption. Efficiency Elgamal encryption is probabilistic, meaning that a single plain text can be encrypted to many possible ciphertexts with the consequence that a general Elgamil encryption produces a 2 to 1 expansion in size from plain text to ciphertext. Encryption under Elgamil requires two exponentiations, however, these exponentiations are independent of the message and can be computed ahead of time if need be. Decryption only requires one exponentiation. Decryption the division by can be avoided by using an alternative method for decryption. To decrypt a ciphertext with Alice's private key, Alice calculates, is the inversive. 
This is a consequence of Lagrange's theorem, because where is the identity element if Alice then computes, which she then converts back into the plain text message.